Hello to all you fantastic and wonderful people. I hope everybody's fine and well, having a great day. My name's Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at these Govi M1 LED strip light. These are meant to be pretty special. I got these from Amazon. They cost £120 in the UK at the time of recording. They're also compatible with Google Home and Amazon Alexa. Let's jump straight into the box then, let's see what we get and see how well they function. So they come in this really nice circular premium looking and feeling Govi box. I wish the seals were a little better designed on the sides, they did need peeling, they both split on me but not a major issue. Inside the box everything is included, this is a 5 metre strip, you could fit this pretty much anywhere. The classy packaging and design continues throughout the box. We're met with this Govi quick start guide which shows us how to quickly install the strip and gives us some ideas where you might want to place them. This is really nice. I know it's just the reel that the LED strip comes on. Normally these are disposable, but you might actually want to keep this. It's a really nice design. It's kind of got a old record vibe and the Govi logo in the middle. Next we have the user manual and a welcome note from Govi. And then inside these two pockets, we've got a little receiver so you can control, switch on, off, and change the mode from this little box here. And then this will just connect to the strip and then to the power supply that will also be included. This is pretty much the same as most of the other Govi controllers. It's just a little bit bigger and it's also got this acrylic cover type thing over the top. It also makes it look a little more premium. We've got the 4 pin power plug on one side here, the 24 volt adapter on the other. It's all pretty well made and looks nice and clean, you wouldn't have any issue cable managing this stuff. It also has some 3M tape on the back so you can stick it up out the way nice and discreetly. In this compartment we've got the actual power brick itself. Unfortunately it is a power brick, I was hoping it would be a bit smaller than that but it's not the end of the world, I can mount this under the shelf out of the way and we'll just cable manage the wires. It is all white and matching and does look nice so that's a good thing and also the cables are really long so again that will help with the cable management. Then inside we've got the power lead itself, again as I mentioned the cables are quite long, really nice to see. Then we have a couple of alcohol pads and some mounting clips. These are double option mounting clips. You can either use the 3M tape that are on the back or they also include some micro screws you can use for a more permanent option. I'm not actually going to use these because I'm going to use an aluminium raceway but again there's another 3M sticky tab included in there. So with all things being considered this could be one of the best plug and play kits that I've actually seen. Everything is included in the box to get you up and running. The only thing you need here is a smartphone to control it all and get maximum use out of this thing. So let's set it all up then. We've got the little controller that connects to the power supply. And then you do the same with the infinity power lead. I call this the infinity or the figure of eight. It's the two pin type. And then we want to take the four pin connector and you want to take the positive end of the Govi strip light so make sure you unravel these fully and double check the orientation before you plug these in. I think they are ground protected anyway but just to be safe just make sure that the Govi logo is facing the correct way around. One of the main things that make these lights so special is that there's so many LEDs in such a short space. So if you look to this generic set of LEDs I have here, you can see there's roughly two diodes to every three compared to the Govies. And if we want to get precise and actually measure them, we've got two LEDs per six centimeters on both of these Govi strips here. But on the new Govi M1 set, as you can see in that same six centimeters, we've actually got four LED diodes. That will give us extra brightness and it will also give us a more vibrant colour. What I'm going to do now is show you the difference between the Govi Basic, the Govi with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa and the Govi M1. All three of these are fantastic lights in general, ranging from around £15 in the UK up to around £120 for the M1s. But you can see the most expensive lights 
way outperform the other two here no doubt about that so i'm just going to give them a quick test and check their function make sure they do what i want them to do and then i'll decide where they're going to go oh wow they are amazingly bright and the colors are also very impressive they are maybe the brightest leds that i've ever seen you can control these LEDs right now straight away from this controller. It has a simple on and off button at the top and then in the middle you've got a colour change. Not all of the colours are available here. You will need to install the Govee application on a smart device to get full access to all of the features and colours. The third and final button on the controller allows you to switch between music mode or normal mode. The music mode allows the lights to react to any music that's going on in the background. Okay, I'm really impressed with these and I have decided I am going to use this set in the aluminium raceways. So, I'm using these 1 meter length aluminium runways and they also come with these plastic white diffuser covers. Now the covers just snap into place and you can also use these little brackets that hold them up there in permanent position but you can also use double sided tape if you wish. Because they're aluminium and I have pets and stuff I am going to secure them with the fasteners. I just use two fasteners for each meter. I'm going to need around 5 meters in total for this project as the strip is just 5 meters long. Okay, so now we have that all installed, go ahead and open up your camera on your smartphone and scan the QR code that's on the side of the box or inside your quick start guide. You can alternatively also search for Govi Home in the Google or Apple Store. Once you've installed the application, there'll be a few privacy policies that you need to click, location, etc. And then you want to go ahead and open an account realistically that gives you full control over the strip. It goes through a few demos and shows you how to navigate the application and so forth. There's far too many things to list here. You'd have to go through it all yourself, really. Okay, so to add the strip light, it's a pretty simple process. Pretty much like any other application, you just press add device, select LED strip, and then you want to scroll down. There is several RGB strips from Govi, so you'll need to scroll down around three quarters of the way. When you find the M1 LED strip, select that. It'll ask you if it can use your location. I always give it my approximate location. I don't think it needs to be precise. Then you need to switch the power button on and off on the controller just to register the connection, and then you're good to go. You should be able to use the strip from here on out. If you have multiple Govi strips connected to your application, you will need to select the M1 model to take control of the M1 model. We'll take a look at the effects lab first then. We'll come into the color gallery and as you can see here we've got all the reds, our yellows, greens, our aquas, blues and pinks and purples. They all look really nice and vibrant. But each of these have got their own subsections. So we've got ingredients where you can select broccoli for example. I don't know that they're very accurate but it's kind of fun to use. One of my favorites here is the jelly beans effect. You can also do these in segments. You can actually segment these to make them look like jelly beans if you really wanted to. Then you've got things like natural. With your natural, you've got everything from different cloud tones and auras to starry skies and snowflakes. One of the most fun features on this application is this effects lab here. You can select sunrise where it will mimic a sunrise so it will get brighter throughout time. You can do the opposite for sunset so it will get darker over time. Then you've got things like forest, so these are your greens. Rustling leaves, I imagine are greens again, greens and yellows. Some of them have this multi-choice where when you select, for example, universe, you've got A and B. A will give you one effect and B will give you a secondary effect. A lot of these tabs have this secondary function. Some have more than others and some are easier on the eye than others. As I said, there's far too many to list here, so we are going to briefly go through some of the other options and then we'll take a look at the voice function and music mode. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Very responsive, very responsive. I'm actually stood like in the other corner of the room from the microphone. It's very sensitive. Okay, turn off LED strip light. Okay, 
turn on LED strip light. Okay, change LED strip light to blue. Okay, change change LED strip light to yellow. Alright, changing the LED strip light M1 to yellow. Let's see how it reacts to some music. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? I'm very impressed with those. Okay, then so on to some of the final features. As you can see here, we can also segment the lights. You can press individual pieces of the light and then select individual colors. You can also add a gradient. So for example, when you select two areas to be red, the gradient would automatically mean the next LED would be kind of pink. If the color was much darker and like a blue, the next area would be like a purple. I'm using orange at the moment, but as you can see, you can use any colors you want. You can get as creative as you want with this. I've just made it half yellow, half blue, and a bit of a mess. But you can also go into the color wheel to be more precise with your colors. It even names and labels each of the precise color names for you. If you want to go ahead and search those colors for any other reason, which is really helpful. Then you can go down and save them below and use them at any time. Another massive thing with these lights, you can cut them and then you could resolder them or reconnect them at any length really, up to a few meters and it doesn't drop any brightness, it doesn't drop any of the color vibrancy or any of the patterns, they don't skip or miss or anything, it just works seamlessly. You can update the strip, so if you cut it, you then want to update so the application knows that the strip is now longer or shorter depending whether you've added more lights to the strip which you can also do again I found this to be pretty helpful and like I said there's so many options here it's hard to go through them all these govies are a little more expensive than most of your LEDs and I do believe you can get something similar cheaper but you would have to buy the individual strips then you would have to research the individual power supplies then you would have to control all the voltages and then still build your project. Whereas this all comes out of one box and is ready to go with a simple application. The application works seamlessly and even works on older devices. I personally give these Govies 5 stars out of 5 and although they are slightly more expensive than your typical LED sets, I do think they are well worth it in my opinion. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful at all, or if you enjoyed any part of it, or just enjoy supporting small creators like me, then please go ahead and leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel with your notifications on, that way you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you guys for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.